how to do one of the famous Wally Wood face lighting effects. Now what I did is I took a Wally Wood face and I put it uh, underneath a piece of paper on my light box so it appears to be diminished or not really dark. Now the biggest light source is coming from this way because the face is lighter. Another intense light force is coming this way and it's shorter and intense and there's one coming down on his head. So one of the things he does here is he goes down the nose and sometimes he feathers in there like this nice thin lines. Uh, here uh, he decided to draw just lines and no shadow lines. He continued that down here to the nose also. Uh, he outlined here and he put in uh, razor sharp feathering lines. Here again, a triangle shadow with uh, very thin inking lines going into it. There's the nostril. And he's inking the planes of the nose here. And this is all shadow, obviously. Okay. The eyebrows, when he did them here, he broke them into sections. One, two, three. One, two, three. He tapered off. Uh, he did his eyes like this. He outlines. And a lot of times what he'll do for an eye is divide it in half and leave like a little shine. Nice outline. Here's the eye. A little shine. Uh, here's uh, light inking underneath the eyelids. And here are the shadows continuing again, solid. And then he comes in here for the feathering back into the white light. Uh, here he cast a shadow down from the nose. Again, if you want to learn stuff like this, I have it all in my books. Uh, I have uh, four books on comic book anatomy, how to draw horses in action, pers comic book perspective, how to draw women. So those will all be very helpful to you. Can email me. If they're $20 each, $5 postage. Here's a black shadow, and I'm f feathering right back into it. So mostly his technique here which he pretty much learned from Hell Foster is this uh, lines or feathering lines. Uh, this is always cool when he did this. This is a line going down the lip and it's also catching underneath here falling into heavy shadow and then going back into feathering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and this is like the crest of the form going down the chin. And you notice how simply he tries to do this, like there's one line there, maybe two lines to get that, and then the rest of it's this gorgeous feathering. Again, these feathering lines are not running into each other, they're all separate. That's what makes it look clean. See that? And here's some long lines for the cheek. You got to get that in one stroke because it won't look professional. Here he's diminishing, it goes up. You know, and he, he fooled around in here. Like, he put as many lines in here as you want, to actually, at this point. Just keep it white. Uh, here's the forehead wrinkles. And I'm using an upstroke here now. That's like a stroke that goes away from you. I just did that for fun. Others are mostly doing downstrokes. Uh, we got the lid, shadow shadow underneath the eye and up here what's going on is this is the forehead wrinkle and he just put in a big shadow there fill that all in and one of the things he likes to do is like where you see the line here just leave it white so it'll look like light hit it so we got that all filled in and then I'm using uh, upstrokes here, but you got to be very confident with this so they come out slick. You can also use cross hatching, which is going down over the line. L. Williamson did that a lot in Crandall. Uh, the head up here now, don't make this round, just try to get an angle to it. Okay. 
and uh, take your brush and put in as many thin lines as you want. And down on the neck here, he threw a shadow. And he threw a line and some more rendering lines. So that's pretty much how you can teach yourself to ink. You go over these guys and learn from their drawings. And then after a while, it's sort of like playing guitar. You copy the guitar riff so many times you can make it up. Now here's how his ear is drawn. This is the C shape of the ear. See, it's like a C. And this is the Y shape of the ear. It's basically this is like the letter Y. See, there's, a, there's the Y. I forget who showed me that. And here we go down with the uh, things in uh, here, the inside of the ear. So uh, there you pretty much have it, a Wally Wood style ink face. I'll just mess with it here. I want to put in a half tone. And yeah, maybe I put some more half tones. It's always fun making lines. I'd rather put in more lines and less. You know, you got to kind of simplify this to make it look good, but I like to put a lot of detail. Just for my own fun. And uh, I don't like the ink I did up here because my hand was too far away because of the camera. So what I'm going to do here is uh, re ink it. You notice how my lines aren't wavering and they're put down perfect. That's what you got to do with the brush. Okay, so there you have it, a Wally Wood light, double lighting effect, exactly a triple lighting effect. It's a down lighting, a side lighting, and another lighting. So I hope you learned from that. It's a good way to learn how to draw. Okay, thanks. Talk to you later.